What's up collectors and Ultra Summers and CS today I'm gonna finally be taking a look at Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus. Taking a really quick look at the packaging, you can see a nice some certain logo on the side, kingdom at the bottom, a nice image of him as well as a nice display or a tiny display of the figure itself. You can see that that nice artwork of him and of the, you know, the yet mode. So you can see really nice indeed. You can even see the weapon, you know, peg in. That's nice. But you can see, you know, some woods and some stuff. And on the back of the packaging, we got the robot mode and the yet mode as well as the 34 steps. So you need to transform this guy. On the other side, we got a whole majority of characters, you know, some Predacons, some Maximals, Autobots, and the Decepticons, as well as the golden disc, you can see the art there, and that's pretty much it. On the top, you know, you can see the Transformers for Cybertron trilogy and you know the Decepticon logo, but that's pretty much it for the whole thing. So, without further ado, let's get into it. And here we have Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Cyclonus in hand and out of the packaging, and oh my god so so accurate to his movie representation that it blew my mind unfortunately i only have one con with this guy and this is a small one and i'm gonna discuss that right now but before that let's go ahead and take a look at the weapon that he brings as you can see he brings this awesome silver weapon super accurate to the movie representation let me go ahead and give you a 360 degree so you can appreciate he sculpted in detail that this guy has as you can see really really nice sculpted in detail from the sides to the top and obviously from the other side uh from the bottom it's pretty hollow but you're not gonna see that section uh often it's a really good accurate weapon indeed he had this on the movie and like you saw on the intro you can go ahead and you know peg it in any blast effect that you like on the very you know uh front but as you can see if you have scorch you can go ahead and, and take that blast effect that he has and peg it in as well uh with cyclonus but as you can see really 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 nice sculpted in detail but you know not, not much i have to say about this it's, it's pretty simple but it gets the job done uh really really nice indeed but with all that said it's pretty much it for the weapon and now for the main event cyclonus himself as you know on the intro i said that i have one con with this guy and uh, now i don't and I, I don't actually <laughs> uh at the beginning i thought that this was supposed to be uh always like like this and i didn't like that but i was wrong then uh, i started to play with it you know and uh took some posings and some stuff and <laughs> i noticed that he has a hold there and you're supposed to go ahead and you know place it there but you know on the box it doesn't comes like that it comes uh straight like this uh you know just for the packaging purposes uh but as you can see uh my only con that was that this was supposedly too long and not accurate to the movie uh but as you can see this guy has no cons now and it's just this guy is perfect if you don't have it i don't know why are you waiting for go ahead and get out of this video and go ahead and and get yourself a cyclonus but those that stay as you can see let's go ahead and focus on the face call as you can see really nice face call giving you a 360 degrees so you guys see that i have no paint drips whatsoever hopefully it's going to be the same as you you know that i hate paint drips particularly on the head skull because it just ruins the whole figure for me as you can see moving on to chest, you can see that awesome decepticon logo as well as the skull dead in detail that he had on the chest really nice indeed and just it's so accurate every single section is so accurate to the maroon representation as you can see moving on to the arm section as well as the hands you can see some nice sculpted in detail there as well and just no paint whatsoever in the entire thing uh you know overall really nice i'm super happy for that and just moving on to the uh legs themselves i really really like this section uh the color looks like a carbon fiber purple color and he, he only has it on this section as well as in the top section of the helmet or crown right? whatever you want to call that section as you can see really nice indeed giving you a 360 degrees so you can appreciate and it has no backpack so you know that i you know i hate backpacks so figures that don't have backpack there are on really really good uh you know track for being one of my favorites but as you can see really really nice indeed overall just sculpted in detail and he even looks good for the back he has some screws there uh but you're not gonna see those you're not gonna have him you know uh posting backwards he has uh, a couple of gaps there but that's uh usual for you know figures uh at this point but as you see really really nice indeed if for some reason the looks didn't convince you that this is an awesome figure for sure the articulation is going through as you can see it can extend his head about that far and about that far so it has some nice reach of motion there and you can go ahead and give it the old 360 degrees as well i don't know why you will do that maybe to break his neck but as you can see it can extend 
percent about that far and about that far as well as about that far and it has a swivel on the middle section of the arm as well as a hinge there so you got a 90 degree angle there and you can go ahead and give it a mini swivel here on the hands uh it's a little tiff but you know it, that, that's that's not bad at all but as you can see it has a white swivel as well and the legs can extend about that far and about that far and really nice splits as well so you can see some nice range of motion on the legs and on the upper legs it has a swivel as well and you can go ahead and give it a hitch there and it has more than a 90 degree angle as you can see the transformation really nice and so you got some awesome options with this guy uh you know on possibility as you can see it has some uh ankle tilt as you can see and it can extend about that far just a little bit to the top not much to the down section but as you can see not bad at all honestly flawless 10 out of 10 on looks as well as articulation and now for a comparison so you guys can see how he looks next to other autobots here we have hot rock from the 86 line and Springer from the Siege line. And as you can see, they look so good together. And by now, I sound like a broken list because I always say this on my reviews now. But as you can see, I love how you can mix and match different figures from different lines because as you can see, this is from the 86 line, this is from the Siege, and this is from the Kingdom. As you can see, they all look like they belong on the same line together and so, so nice. Honestly, I, I do not mind that at all. It's funny because I, I made a pose on Reddit and it was not about that. Uh, but for some reason, some uh, people uh, started fighting because they didn't appreciate that this wasn't the Kingdom line. They wanted it to be on the 86 line. As well as Scorch, they didn't want him to be on the 86 line. They wanted him to be on the Kingdom line. I, I honestly don't know why because I, I don't care which line it is. Uh, at the end of the day, you're going to have every single one together and they're going to look like they belong on the same line so it really doesn't bother me because as you can see it, they, they just look so good next to one another but now that we got that out of the way let's go ahead and bring his partner in crime because as you can see i cannot make a review without comparing them as you can see they look so so nice together it just exactly like they did on the movie super nice and just so accurate to the movie representation as well as the g1 cartoon it's mind-blowing the scale is accurate the looks are there it's just they look so so good next to one another i cannot wait to have galvatron uh, probably from the kingdom line uh but I, i'm i'm not sure honestly i don't even know if he's gonna go to the studio series line or the kingdom line but again i honestly don't care because at the end of the day you're gonna have both of them next to one another and they're gonna look just good but with all that being said this is pretty much it for the comparison and now for transformation transformation is kind of 50 50 it's kind of hard kind of easy it, it takes time but uh first of all you want to go ahead and unpack this section right here and kind of you know just just bring it over and uh reveal this section as well go ahead and do the same on the other side kind of unpack this place it there and go ahead and fold this up like so and just leave it be uh next what you want to do is to come here and fold that there and uh just kind of hide the hand like so and then fold it back in rotate it and then pick it in to secure this whole section and do the same on the other side you want to come here and pull this out and uh rotate it in like so to hide the hand then fold that back in and go ahead and rotate it and secure it and when you have that there go ahead and you want to come here and unpack this section like so like that and then you want to go ahead and remove this section and go ahead and remove this section as well and that's going to reveal this thing that you're basically going to you know change his head uh with the front of his jet mode as you can see you go ahead and rotate that and this is the tricky part uh you want to come here and remove this and you're going to be uh kind of Kind of playing with this because that reveals that and when you have that this reveals another one and this one is kind of hard if you have no nails but go ahead and pull that out pull this in pull this in as well but you, you want to make sure that this section is in so it can pick like so when you have that like that that's pretty much it for the whole thing but it's just kind of tricky and funny honestly it has a a really uh unique mechanic uh, i'll give him that go ahead and pull that back in and pull this back in as well and go ahead and rotate this section 180 degrees as well actually no leave it be and go ahead and, and 
go ahead and uh, work on the feet. Uh, what you want to do on this section is you want to go ahead and pull this section right and remove this so you can hide the feet and go ahead and pull this section just to you know hide the feet and just secure the whole thing and go ahead and do the same on the other side. You want to pull this section like so. Go ahead and hide the feet. Go ahead and cover it like so. And what you want to do is kind of funny because you, you what you want to do is just compress the whole thing and kind of hide the whole thing like so. And do the same on this section. Go ahead and compress it like so. And when you have it fully compressed, you can go ahead and peg it in to secure it. And when you have it like that, you can go ahead and proceed to the 180 degree angle here. So you can peg this section here. And last but not least, what you want to do is to go ahead and, you know, just pull that section there and you want to go ahead and kind of you know uh, peg this section on the back as well as the other one it has the other peg on the very top of this section we'll go ahead and secure this section like so and when you're done you're gonna have him fully transformed into his awesome looking jet mode and as you can see on my particular copy this does not go in I have tried I have transformed him back and forward like a hundred times now and just this 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 section for my particular copy does not go in like the other opposite section uh, because as you can see it's supposed to be like this flawless but unfortunately in my particular copy this section does not want to uh, you know get on place for some reason I, I saw uh, other reviews and on other copies uh, they didn't have this problem this is only in my particular copy so hopefully you are not gonna have this problem as you can see when you're finished you have him on his awesome looking jet mode. For the jet mode, you can see that that same accuracy that he had on Robamona translates super, super well to the jet mode itself. So you can see really nice indeed. Just overall, just a masterpiece of just movie accuracy. It's just mind blowing. Giving you a 360 degree so you guys can appreciate, you know, the skull that in detail that this guy has. So you can see the arms, you know, they become the exhausts. Uh, and you can see just the wings and everything just the cockpit and as well as this section right here Just so accurate to the movie representation again Unfortunately on my particular copy man. I'm sad that this this just does not want to go in Like this it's supposed to as you can see it's supposed to be like that, you know It's just flesh like that, but just this gappy thing man. It, it really bothers me and this is this is my only con. This is my only con on the entire thing. And it's not because, you know, the figure is like this. This is only in my particular copy. I don't know why. Again, I have transformed this guy like a hundred times right now. And it, it, it always ends like that. Because as you can see, if I go ahead and unpack this section and remove this. So you can see, nothing, nothing interferes. You know, it's, it's the same. Let me go ahead and remove this as well. So you guys can see that just... It's, it's the same thing same thing on both sections it's not you know nothing different they're they're uh, transformed exactly the same and when i go ahead and fold this section you can see that already is just you know just better than the other one and you know i can go ahead and secure it uh here but as you can see if i go ahead and just try to put this section it goes in but it's, it does not just go in you know flawlessly so you can see nothing interferes with it nothing just gets in the way it's just the mechanic it's just this thing that it's just it's it's not it's just you can see, oh man it really it's sad man that i like this figure so much this figure is just as close to perfect as anything is gonna get on the kingdom line so far but just this section man this 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 but you can see uh, on the upper section, you can see some nice skulls that in detail towards the whole thing. And on the, you know, front section, this thing right here and the way it transformed is so unique. As you can see, it just ends up uh, being so nice. So you can see you have the, you know, the casual, the typical uh, wheel here. So, you know, you can have him just, you know, kind of, kind of there, just standing. But, you know, I never use that. I, I always just put it like that. But as you can see, so, so nice indeed. Obviously, you can see, you know, the chest on the robot mode. But you cannot even tell that this is a chest, honestly, because you have no arms. You have no face. You can technically see the legs, but, you know, you get lost on this section right here. But really nice. You cannot tell that this are the arms as well because you, you see no hinges or nothing. It's so really, really just well hidden overall as you can see you can go ahead and uh and bring some effects and you can go ahead and peg it you know on each individual section like that 
uh, if you want to do that let me go ahead and bring the other one give me a second here we go so you guys can go ahead and put this section here and this section here and you can go ahead and have him you know flying away like you did on g1 and on the movie but really nice indeed you got that option there so it's just again it's just a flawless flawless figure but this section here it's just it's sad man and again i cannot do nothing about it just go ahead and just wrap it and kind of just mimic that he is you know transformed like he's supposed to be but for a comparison he's a kingdom so it's fit that i you know compare him with a kingdom let me go ahead and bring the camera just a little bit down so you guys can appreciate him uh because this guy is big so uh, let me go ahead and bring Cheater so let's see how he looks next to other Kingdom line. But as you can see, hey, this this is not a good fit because this is Cheetah and this is kind of like a jet. So it's supposed to be super big next to Cheater. So uh, that that's a bad scale. But, you know, let me go ahead and bring his partner in crime so let's can see how he looks next to him. As you can see, the scale is pretty accurate, pretty well. Again, they look so, so good together that they, you know, belong on the same line. They look like they belong on the same line. Honestly, if you were not a fan and I would have told you that they are not from the same line, you would be like, what? What are you talking about? They, they look exactly the same. They look so good together. They, they look like they belong on the same line. But as you can see, the scale and the accuracy is 10 out of 10 on both figures. And if you're interested, again, I already made a review on this guy. Uh, it's going to be linked on the description down below. As well as in the top right corner of this video. But as you can see, really, really nice indeed. But this is pretty much it for the comparison. And, you know, for the whole thing, uh, it's simple. I honestly have not much to say. My only con on vehicle mode or on jet mode is, you know, this section right here. But for a transformation back to robot mode, uh, basically it's everything that you did. But in reverse, you want to go ahead and unpack this section like that and remove the two pieces like so. Go ahead and unpack this section so you can unsecure the... Uh, upper section and rotate it give it a 180 degree band there go ahead and fold this out fold this out again like so and go ahead and kind of uh fold this section like so to reveal the feet like so go ahead and just rotate this and hide it as that and the same on the other section go ahead and remove this take the feet out rotate this section pull it in like so and there you have it that's pretty much you know it for the down section of the robot mode now you want to go ahead and concentrate on this section what you want to do is to obviously unpack this section and unpack this section to give it to give it some room and uh kind of unpack this again this is this is the more intricate part because you want to unpack that fold that there and then you kind of want to unpack the other one like so and then full full this one in like that and then pull this in like so and then go ahead and last but not least you want to rotate this section like so next you want to go ahead and fold this back in like so and fold the back as well like that and when you have those two pieces really secure and peg it in you want to go ahead and proceed to peg this other two sections of the arm like so and when you have that just position the arms uh properly like so and proceed to go ahead and unpeg the wings like so fold the section in and go ahead and fold this to the very uh bottom like so and go ahead and do the same here go ahead and unpeg it uh fold this little piece up go ahead and fold this whole thing to the you know uh back section like so and then last but not least you want to go ahead and rotate this section like so and then fold the uh this thing up so you can uh rotate the hands and then peg it back in and that's pretty much it for this section on uh, here go ahead and do the same thing fold that up go ahead and rotate the arm or the hand excuse me and go ahead and then peg it in like so and that's pretty much it for the whole transformation there you have it cyclonus back into his awesome looking masterpiece robot mode and with all that being said this is pretty much it for the video guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did please leave a like it will help for you to augment and house my videos get out there in a the while so if you get anything any value out of my content please subscribe and i will see you on the next video but this is pretty much it for transformers for, for cybertron kingdom boyager cyclonus